Hello, this is Tisha Copeland at Not Your Mama's Quilt Store in Plano, Texas. And today I'm going to show you how to use your needle threader on your Elna Excellence 680 Plus. I can't live without my needle threader. I absolutely love using it, but it's one of the things that so many people have on their sewing machine and didn't learn to pr properly use it and so they don't have it, they don't use it, and it's so frustrating for them. So I wanna show you how to do this. Now this is going to be pretty common for most sewing machines. They all have the same mechanism if you have a, a needle threader on it. Just maybe the way you lay out the thread is going to be a little bit different, but it's all the same concept. So let me show you on the Excellence 680 Plus by Elna. First thing you're going to do is when I'm threading a needle, I don't want this to start running accidentally, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is lower my needle and raise my needle. Now I know my needle is in the highest position. Now I want it to stay there and I want to be able to fidget around without worrying about it turning on. So on this machine, you have a lock key right there and when you press that key it locks the machine now you can't accidentally start sewing you can't cut any threads nothing's going to happen as long as that lock key is on once we have done that we're going to go ahead and start threading our machine so we have already brought our thread down and we're getting ready to go into the threading mechanism this is where i'm going to set you right here on the 680 plus it's a little bit different from some of the other sewing machines because there's a couple of other little um connections or little channels you have to go through one of them is this little hook right here you can see it i'm going to try to scoot up see that little hook right there. The thread has to go right behind that. And I can get right behind it. So you see how the thread went right behind that? The next thing that it has to do is go through this little hook right here. It's like a little arm that's sticking out. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see it better. There you go. See this little tiny arm right here? The thread has to go behind that one. Okay, so now I've got it right behind there. So the next thing we're going to do is start putting it into position for it to thread. What I want to show you first is how the little mechanism works by itself. And very often people never uh, kind of get down there with the magnifying glass so that they can see what's going on and you're not sure how it's supposed to work. I wanna zoom in really close so that you can see this. Okay, now you can see right here, you see the eye of the needle? Let me zoom out a little tiny bit. You see the eye of the needle right there, right? When you pull down the threading mechanism, there is a little tiny, tiny hook. Seriously, need to pull out a magnifying glass to see it, okay? Do you see that little tiny, tiny hook right there? that little tiny hook has to go through the eye of the needle, okay? That has to go right there. That little tiny hook, not the one below it, not the one above it, that little tiny one. And I'm really zoomed in so that you can see it. If I didn't have my zoom on, you can hardly see it. it. It hides back there and I have to get a magnifying glass to see it, okay? So when I push, this part, the key down all the way, okay? It's going to slip that little tiny hook into the eye of the needle. Did you see that? You see how it went into the eye? Okay. 
it goes into the eye of the needle. That's what you want to do. That's what you're aiming for and getting your thread in the right position. Now, one thing that I see everybody do when they are learning to thread their machine is they get it and they pop it. They go like this, okay? That's not, that's not going to do anything. If anything, it's going to bend your little tiny hook that needs to go through the eye. This is a slow and deliberate uh, movement that you've got to get that little tiny hook to go through the eye, okay? So on this one, this machine, after I have my thread going through this little arm and this little arm, I'm going to take it and I have to get my thread through an, one more little arm that is right here. Okay, let me see if I can zoom in again for you. There it is. And I can do that by taking my thread going right over the seven position. When I do that, it's going to go into that little hook. Let me show you again. Okay, I'm gonna show you one more time how to set up your thread to thread your needle. You have to take your thread, as it's already been threaded through your machine, go under the first little arm, which is right here, okay? Come in, there we go. You're gonna go under the second little arm, which is right here above the needle. Do you see it? And the next spot you're going to go is right here and it's going to land directly in there when you pull your thread up over this number seven position you will see it go right into that little groove watch did you see it kind of snap so now i'm just going to pull my thread to the belt back i don't have to hold it or anything it's going to stay in position when i pull it towards the back and just let it go then I'm going to push this down. Remember, this is a slow and deliberate move. It is not a snap it move, okay? I'm going to pull this. You can see that little tiny, tiny hook in the back. I'm going to pull this down and it is going to thread my machine. Okay. And there it is, it has threaded it. Now, all I have to do, I can take this front thread off. You can see it coming all the way out. I can get my little back thread right here. Remember, I just said I'm not a lefty, so this is a little bit of a challenge for me. Um, I can't get it off. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, so you can see that it went all the way through. I'm gonna show you one more time. Here's my thread, I'm unthreaded, okay? I have gone through this section, I've gone through this little arm, I have gone through this little arm, I'm going to come up here through the seven area snap it into place i felt it snap right there i'm going to press this down you can see where it has gone in right there release it it pulls the thread out now i can get my little tool or whatever and pull my thread through and ta-da, it's done. Now, I can't pull it any farther right now because my lock switch is on and it's not going, going to release that tension. I can raise the foot and that might let me release some of that. Oh, it does, good. So now I can pull that thread out right there and I'm ready to go. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna come back over here, disengage my lock and I'm ready to sew again.